Don't tell me you're going to be in a basement. This game contains jump scares, loud sounds, blood and violence. Oh, it said space to skip. Whoopsie. Okay, so hey everyone, welcome to a game called Leave Me Alone. Um. Okay, is this going to be too loud? Am I going to now have to do an, an audio test? Um, I think, I think I'll just do an audio test. It was, in fact, way too loud. So, this is inspired by PS1's, uh, PS1, uh, uh, PS1 Classics, I think is what it said. I've just a second read up on it. And inspired by 80s, 90s horror movies, which everyone knows I like these kind of games. Oh. Oh, but I don't like these angles. Okay, seed switch camera. Ah, oh, sweet. Thank you. So, I did do an audio test. Well, I didn't. I, I mean, I did. So, I stopped recording, listened to it. It was very, very loud. So, I just turned it down and didn't do another audio test after that. So, I don't know if I'm too loud now. But it's fine. Oh no. Hello? Leave me alone. Was it a nightmare? I'd better get ready to meet up with Noah and go camping. Okay, cool. I need to grab the backpack and as a precaution, a lighter in case we decide to make a campfire. See, I don't know if this is going to be too quiet now. I don't know if you guys could hear that. It might have just been the music that was too loud, so I'm going to turn it back up. <laughs> Turned it up a bit. Wait, why can't I rotate? Are you joking? I can't even use my mouse. No. Come on. No. What? Oh no, I have to use SD to look and then was to move back and forth. Oh, that's going to be so annoying. E. Oh, I can't even use my mouse. That's going to get confusing real quick. Right, what did we have to do? I wasn't listening. I can't even look down. I wasn't listening. Do we need a shower? Did he say I need my backpack? I wasn't listening. Was this the room we were just... Yeah, this was the room we were just in. Is there anything in the wardrobes? No. Oh, backpack. Got it. PS1. Oh, I love PS1s. Crash Bandicoot on a PS1 or Rugrats on PS1. Great. I can't leave yet. Okay. What else am I missing? Okay. Snacks. That would be great. A knife. No. Oh. Leave the house. What? Did I pick up cigarettes? Maybe. Okay. But yeah, I think we're in the forest and there's something weird. Okay, now this is going to be loud. Nice. That was short and I liked it. So I feel like usually the, the music in the intro hey, is Noah. just... Excited for this adventure in the forest. Drag on for way too long. Absolutely, Jackson. This getaway is going to be the best. Nothing like a good dose of nature to escape the everyday chaos. Totally agree. Hey, I heard this forest has strange stories. Legends of things that roam at night. Ah, you know how those stories go. Just legends to add more excitement to the experience. It won't be anything major. Just two guys enjoying the outdoors. 
I hope you're right. But seriously, what would you do if we encountered something bizarre out there? Ha ha! Man, if I saw something strange, I'd run faster than a scared squirrel. But on a serious note, don't worry, we'll be fine. It's just a camping trip. Nothing major is going to happen. You always manage to reassure me, Noah. Let's make the most of the night. Okay. That was a weird convo. Oh. Well, you're going to die. For sure. Whispering Woods? I think that's what it says. Okay. Finally, we've arrived. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get to it. How about this, Jackson? You set up the tent, and I'll go gather some wood for the campfire. What do you think? <laughs> All right. I'll start setting up the tent. Right, okay. Set up the tent. We. Where, though? So, I'm trying to find more games to play. I've been having a look on Steam, and nothing is really jumping out to me. So I need people to suggest games. Because I really am running out of ideas on what games to actually play. Because, you know, I, I get all of my games from Itch. But they're only short games like this, so I want to... I do like the short games, but I want something more, like, exciting. I want to find games off of Steam, like, more horror games off of there. But nothing's jumping out to me, so I really do need suggestions, because I'm running out of ideas. Retrieve the lantern from the car. Okay. Okay. Explore the map and wait for Noah. Can I go in my tent? Can't cr can't crouch. Okay. Wait, did it say explore the map? Do you mean just walk around and explore? And wait for Noah? Wait, do I have like an inventory or something? I don't think I do because I think it would have uh, you know, mentioned that to me. Oh, that's camera again. Explore the map and wait for Noah. That doesn't make any sense. I'm guessing just walk around for a bit. Oh, I can run! Oh, nice. No, okay, never mind, it doesn't. Oh, great. Okay, there's a graveyard. A graveyard? Nice, okay. What? What's this? Uh, I'm going to move myself, because you can't see what's behind me. <laughs> Done. Title. Massabury Discovery in Whispering Woods Cemetery, September 19th, 1982. The tranquility of the peaceful Whispering Woods um, forest was once again disrupted by a sinister discovery when a body was found in the local cemetery. Residents who frequent the forest for outdoor activities and visit the cemetery are perplexed perple perple oh friggin no by the disturbing event details are still scarce but initial reports indicate that a pass oh passerby discovered the body during a morning walk through the cemetery authorities were immediately alerted and are conducting a thorough investigation to determine the victim's identity as well as the circumstances that led to this ominous discovery. The, er uh, the area around the cemetery has been temporarily cordoned? Don't know what that, I've never heard that word before, of as investigat investigators seek evidence and clarification on the incident. 
So far, there is no information on eyewitnesses or possible suspects. Residents are expressing growing unease, Re reigniting old rumours and dark stories associated with the forest and the cemetery. Authorities are appealing for community collaboration, urging anyone with relevant information to come forward to assist in resolving this dark mystery. The investigation is ongoing and updates will be provided as more off uh, as more information emerges. Well that's a bit spooky. Okay, we're good. We're we're good, we're fine. Don't know where my friend is, Noah, whatever his name is. Oh a building? Oh yeah, that's definitely where we're gonna die. 100%. Oh, I can't go that way. Nor that way. Okay, well, I'm guessing I'm gonna... Go if When I walk away, is this door gonna open? No? Okay. There he is. Hello. How are you doing? Hey Jackson, I brought the firewood. Let's set up the campfire. It's getting late. Okay. We could do that, I guess. Jackson, do you have something to light the campfire? I brought a lighter. It's in the car. I'll go get it. Don't start getting loud, because then I'll have to turn it down again. Man, nothing like the warmth of a good campfire to ward off any weird feelings in the forest. I agree, Noah. Sometimes, it's good to escape the urban routine and enjoy nature. So speaking of which, how about telling some spooky stories? They say it's a camping tradition. Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. I have one to start. Ever heard of the local legend of the Silent Trail Ghost? Hmm. No, I haven't. You have a lantern! Why are you not lighting that? They say, many years ago, a lone traveller got lost in this forest. He walked a narrow trail, but was never seen again. They say now, at night, you can hear his silent footsteps wandering through the forest, as if still searching for his way home. Well, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained, but there's always something eerie about this forest, don't you think? Sometimes, imagination plays tricks on us, but hey, we're here to have fun. No ghosts are going to spoil our night. I beg to I differ. Agree, no. no legend will stop us from enjoying this getaway. A long time passed, Jackson and Noah talked for hours. It's very late, and I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep too. I'm exhausted. All right. Good night, Noah. Good night, Jackson. A few hours later. <sighs> no covers? What was that? I'd better wake up Noah. Nah, fam. Noah's dead. <laughs> Noah isn't here. What is he? Why was Noah outside? Oh, for God's sake, Noah. Oh, you actual maroon. Is it that house by chance? You never know. Let's go and have a look. I feel like it's now very loud, or I'm being way too loud. I don't know. Soon find out when I'm editing. Oh god. It's not the house? Are you sure? It's- 
always a house in horror games, I swear. The cemetery? Or oh, there was another path. I could go up that way. Okay. Nah, it's not here. It's the other path. Noah? What was that? Oh, it's a bird. Oh, don't be going into the tall grass! God damn it! Why? It's this building. So what was the purpose of the other one? E. Ah. I'm so dead. Oh, okay. How oh, nice. I can't look down or anything. Mystery in Whispering Woods Forest. January 20... <laughs> January 27th, 1983. In a shocking turn of events, the serene Whispering Woods Forest, known for its tranquility, has become the stage for a mysterious incident. Authorities were alerted after the discovery of disturbing evidence suggesting a possible murder deep within the forest. Details are scarce at the moment, but sources indicate that the incident occurred during the night adding a layer of mystery to the occ oh, occurrence. Authorities have not confirmed the identity of the victim or the possible predator keeping details under wraps as the investigation is ongoing. Local residents have expressed shock and concern about the situation, recalling urban legends and old stories associated with the forest. So far, there are no reports of eyewitnesses to the incident, contributing to the enigma surrounding the evident no, serving the surrounding the event authorities are appealing to anyone with relevant information or who may have noticed suspicious activities in the whispering woods area to come forward immediately the investigation continues and more details will be released as information becomes available dang Don't scare me. Wait, we came out of the door behind us, didn't we? Nope, we're back in this one. Okay. Oh, okay, we can't go through that one. Okay, nice house. I like it. Okay. Don't tell me you're going to be in a basement. North. Why would you say something? All right. Jeez, man. This is too loud now. <laughs> Why would you say something? Just turn around and run, you dingus! Oh yeah, it was around. I remember. Oh! I'm not gonna say anything because it's too loud. Am I leaving the car? Ah! Whoopsie. Sorry. What was I supposed to do? Run back? Oh, come on. Okay, let's go. Mm. Unless I do just turn around and come sprinting back when the van comes towards me. 
I don't know what to do. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't run backwards because it blocked itself off. What do you want me to do? Okay, let's... I think it was this way. Oh my god, get off the wall. The music stopped, but I know he's still behind me because that's what happened the last time. It's going to be closed, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Okay. A new place. He's still behind me though, isn't he? Oh, it was the, 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 the nightmare I had at the start. Leave me alone. Okay, that was good. I actually really liked that. That was the nightmare we had at the start. That was pretty cool. Okay, that, that was actually a pretty good game. I actually really did enjoy that. So that was Leave Me Alone. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate it. And check out the other videos I have posted. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.